She was born as a simple lady, the daughter of a duke and a princess. She had no claim to the throne, no royal title, no expectation of greatness. But fate had other plans for her. She was Maud of Wales, the hidden princess who became the queen of a new nation. Maud grew up in the shadow of her illustrious relatives. Her father was King Edward VII, the son of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. Her mother was Queen Alexandra, the daughter of King Christian the Mackint of Denmark. Her Maud was a lively and tomboyish child, nicknamed Harry by her family. She enjoyed riding, hunting, and sailing with her parents and siblings. She also accompanied them on visits to Denmark, Norway, and the Mediterranean. She was a bridesmaid at the weddings of her aunt Beatrice and her brother George, who later became King George Thust. In 1896, when Maud was 26 years old, she received a surprising proposal from her first cousin, Prince Karl of Denmark. Karl was the second son of King Frederick III of Denmark and Queen Louise, who was Maud's maternal aunt. Karl was also the grandson of King Oscar II of Sweden and Norway who ruled over a union of two countries that were increasingly restless and unhappy. Karl had met Maud several times during their family gatherings, and he was attracted by her beauty, charm, and intelligence. He asked for her hand in marriage, and Maud accepted, despite the fact that they barely knew each other. They were married on the 22nd of July, 1896 at Buckingham Palace, in the presence of their relatives, including Queen Victoria, who gave Maud a diamond tiara as a wedding gift. Maud and Karl settled in Denmark, where they lived a quiet and happy life. They had one son, Alexander, who was born in 1903. They also traveled extensively, visiting Britain, France, Germany, Italy, and Egypt. They were not involved in politics, and they did not expect to inherit any throne. But in 1905, everything changed. Norway declared its independence from Sweden and ended the union that had lasted for 91 years. The Norwegian people wanted to have their own king, and they offered the crown to Prince Karl of Denmark, who was seen as a neutral and acceptable candidate. Karl accepted the offer, on the condition that he would be elected by a referendum. He also changed his name to Haken, and his son's name to Olav, to honor the ancient kings of Norway. Maud supported her husband's decision, and agreed to become the queen of a country she had never visited before. She and Haken left Denmark on the 25th of November 1905 and arrived in Norway on the 2nd of December. They were greeted by cheering crowds, waving flags, and singing the national anthem. They moved into the royal palace in Oslo and were crowned on the 22nd of June 1906 at the Nidaros Cathedral in Trondheim. Maud quickly adapted to her new role as the Queen of Norway she learned the language, the culture, and the history of her adopted country. She also embraced the people and showed genuine interest and compassion for their lives. She visited schools, hospitals, factories, and farms. She supported charities, arts, and sports. She was especially fond of skiing and often joined her husband and son on the slopes. Maud also maintained her ties with her British family and kept in touch with her parents, siblings, and cousins. She was close to her brother, George, who became King George V in 1910, and his wife, Mary. She also visited Britain regularly and attended important events. Maud was a popular and respected queen who won the hearts of the Norwegian people. She was also a devoted wife and mother who loved her husband and son dearly. She was happy and content with her life until tragedy struck. In 1938, Maud fell ill with a heart condition and had to undergo surgery in London. She seemed to recover well and was planning to return to Norway for Christmas. But on the 20th of November, she suffered a fatal heart attack and died at the age of 68. She was buried at the Akershus Castle in Oslo. Maud's death was mourned by both Norway and Britain who lost a beloved queen and a cherished princess. She was remembered for her grace, kindness, and courage. She was also praised for her role in the formation and development of the Norwegian monarchy and for her contribution to the friendship and cooperation between the two countries. Maud was the hidden princess who became the queen of a new nation. She was the unlikely queen who became the beloved queen. She was the queen who left a lasting legacy. She was Maud of Wales, the queen of Norway. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to Luxury Freaks for more videos like this. I would love to hear your opinions and suggestions for the next video. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Luxury Freaks.